Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, we will learn about usability testing or user experience testing. So I'll be providing in detail information on usability testing in this video. The first we'll try to understand what is all about usability testing. Usability testing is nothing but where we'll be testing the user experience or usability related things for a given website or it could be a mobile app or any other UI digital products. That is where we will be using this usability testing. And this usability testing is focused on uh, more on the end user perspective or customer viewpoint. We are going to validate the all the user interface. And also as part of this usability testing uh, we will also be checking the designs of user interface is user friendly or not and also we will try to expose all the usability related uh, defects as part of this usability testing and as we discussed earlier again this is more on the design perspective of user interfaces where we will be checking all the ui aesthetics and designs are very important because look and feel of the application is very crucial in order to hold the any customer or end user. If your application UI, your usability issues are there, then nobody will like your application or a mobile app. That is the key here. In order to have an attractive UI, aesthetic design UI, then you should perform this usability testing. Then we'll try to understand. So what is the main objective or main goal of the usability testing? What are the objectives here? The main objective or goal of the usability testing to ensure we are going to check the effectiveness of an application or product from user experience perspective. Effectiveness for user interface is nothing but we should be able to use simple to use and whenever anybody customer wants to view the application they should feel very simple the application should feel very simple and also all the ui should be very useful and you should add value to the application or product with the kind of ui designs the next effectiveness we will also see in terms of the content placement content here is it could be your uh, text or it could be a videos or it could be color designs or icon designs in an application or even the images look and feel are also aesthetically right that is also the one of the major goal as part of this usability testing and the second goal of usability testing is efficiency so we'll also be as part of this efficiency we will be ensuring that any even web application or mobile app should have a basic minimum UI navigation to complete any activity. It should not take you to the 100 pages, then we perform certain activity. Even with one or two clicks, you should be able to complete any activity or any functionality. That is efficiency. User doesn't want to traverse to 10, 15 pages to complete a given activity. That is where we wanted to see how efficiently we can develop the user interface. And also, we should also ensure the formatting in the UI application from one page to another pages also should be consistency and uh, you should have uniformity in terms of the format and also any usability UI application should have a better searching capability. If we talk about an Amazon, Google or Flipkart or any e-commerce application per se where search functionality, search capability is it could be developed very effectively because if I want to go to any particular page, if I search properly, then I should, it should be able to go back to that page very easily without having any challenge. That kind of efficiency also we should uh, provide as part of uh, this usability goals here. And also the accuracy of information or data present in the application should also be very accurate here. And uh, there is no broken links or pages as part of uh, this usability testing that gives the uh, efficiency of the application. And the third one is third important goal of usability testing is 
user friendliness the major aspect of usability testing is application should be as friendly as possible for any end user or any end customer that is the three important goals of usability testing now we'll try to understand how actually we perform the usability testing what is the road map or what is the processes are involved while performing usability testing the first aspect we normally do is a planning phase where we will be defining a usability test plan where we will be clearly talking about what you are going to test what are the basic expectation as part of this usability testing kind of a objectives or a goals as part of the usability testing then we will be defining the what is the overall scope of our usability testing and as well also we are going to define what is the out of scope of uh, usability testing as part of this uh, planning phase and also we will be detailing out the usability steps as well what are the things we do what are the our entry and what are our exit criteria as part of the usability testing perspective everything we documented in a planning phase this usability testing will be part of our test plan activity and the second one is where uh, we wanted to engage with the customer or end user because we wanted to get the realistic uh, users designs for the right scenarios we wanted to take the feedback from the end users also to ensure that we are going to cover the right test scenarios as part of this usability testing and once we design the right test scenarios for usability testing then we wanted to look for resources or if no resources are available within the given team then we should go and hire the right set of people who can do the usability testing for us once the resources are ready once the test scenarios are ready our test cases are ready then we should be able to set up the test environment similar to the end customer that is the fourth step we wanted to do as part of the usability testing then once that is done environment is ready we are going to execute the test cases which we have created earlier and wanted to see all the aspects we have planned in the planning phase is working or not then once the executions are done then we'll be analyzing the the test results whatever the tests or test scenarios we have executed that will get analyzed and we wanted to verify all the test results to see is there any false results are there any issues are there where we wanted to log the defects or how many test cases are passing how many are failing what are the challenges we are facing as part of this usability testing everything we are going to analyze it once the uh, enough data is there with us for a given testing phase then we will be reporting the test results the usability test results to the stakeholders your stakeholders can be your cto your project manager or head of the department or head of the organization where we wanted to ship the product whoever the stakeholders could be that is the overall process is involved as part of this usability testing now we will try to understand what are the advantages and disadvantages of performing usability testing now first we will see what is the advantages the advantages mainly here uh, because we are going to perform user experience testing basically to uncover all the usability issues before we are shipping the product or application to the customer user experience will be improved because we are, while performing user experience testing we may find lot of bugs or issues then it will get fixed by the development team because of that lot of uh, improvements will happen and that would leads to end user satisfaction and effective and efficiency of the application because of that end user satisfaction definitely will improve once we are start performing the user experience testing and the next one is because we get the right uh, feedback from the end users as well because initial phase we are going to perform the deep dive with the end user or target users what they are really required as part of the application what kind of aesthetic designs of the ui should be there everything we get a input from the end users based on that we create test scenarios and we are going to execute as well because of that definitely the user experience testing will bring lot of value addition to the 
clients here. Then we will try to understand what are the disadvantages of usability testing. The one disadvantage is uh, the testing cost involved here because we wanted to hire a specific and dedicated people who can test the user experience testing because of that additional cost is also involved and resource requirements also additionally we wanted to bring into the system. So these are the two disadvantages we can see but advantages will be little more than uh, disadvantages. Then we will see what are the various popular testing methods we adopt as part of the usability testing. So there are various uh, methods we normally follow to perform usability testing. The first uh, method is gorilla testing. What is a gorilla testing in usability testing? Gorilla testing is nothing but it is very simple and a cost effective testing where the all the testing will be performed in a public place or a public domain where all the participants are randomly selected. When we give the application for 100 users, they will test uh, openly and they will try to give the feedback as well that uh, we can take their feedbacks and we can go and implement the user experiences things as part of this Gorilla testing method. Then the second type is unmoderated or remote usability testing. Unmoderated or remote usability testing is nothing but where testing is going to happen remotely, not in one place where we are not going to select the people the way we, we, we wanted to test here. Here everybody will be remotely where uh, different people will be placed in a different places and their plan to help us in completing certain uh, tasks like uh, because they have their own devices. Let's say some people will have sub certain mobile operating system device, certain browsers and so on. We can uh, we can uh, take their help in order to test the particular device which they have so that uh, we can get enough uh, feedback from uh, them for the particular device. Uh, especially we try to adopt this kind of uh, testing we normally when we have a bigger application place as well if we require a bigger test coverage in terms of operating system devices browser combinations then uh, we'll try to go for this unmoderated uh, remote usability testing and the third one is card sorting method the card sorting method is nothing but where we are going to prioritize the features as part of our uh, usability testing and we will try to see which is the highest prioritized uh, scenarios or features which are very important where we wanted to see the easy navigation even this method also we are going to adopt as part of this testing for example when you are developing an e-commerce website the card sorting help to provide a structure of a given uh, product how can we find in any e-commerce application so Based on this card sorting mechanism, we can prioritize the feature which are going to implement both uh, functional perspective as well as usability perspective. And the fourth one is lab usability testing method. The lab usability testing method is nothing but here we are going to perform the usability testing more on the controlled environment where everything will be controlled and every environment in a single place people are sitting in the same place kind of a laboratory we have and that will get supervision with uh, certain people like manager or a QA manager or developer manager or whoever right where they are going to perform everybody in a certain place and whatever the results we get out of this lab visible testing that will get moderated before we are going to fix the issues. And the fifth uh, important uh, uh, usable testing method is contextual inquiry. The contextual inquiry is nothing but uh, here we are trying to perform the usable testing based on the observation or performing the interview with the customer. Basically, we try to gather as much as information from the real end user here in this method. For example, uh, we when we are taking this kind of testing in terms of a contextual inquiry, we can get the first hand information about an application from the end user. And the sixth one is session recording. Here, the real action whatever is performed by the user that would get recorded 
for example if anybody trying to access a web website then we can record the the flow of the application how the user is going to access the application so that when we record these sessions definitely we can get the right information for how to perform the usability testing which features are very crucial i think we can get using session recording mechanism so i hope you guys got a clear idea now what is all about usability testing if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care